Did you know that all clownfish are born male? Clownfish are hermaphrodites, which means they have male and female reproductive organs. In fact, all clownfish that hatch from their eggs are male. The largest fish in the newly deposited group will become the dominant female. The dominating male will be the second largest fish. If the dominant female dies, the dominant male will become the dominant female. Anemone fish, also known as clownfish, are saltwater fish, belonging to the Amphiprionini subfamily. They are found in warmer waters on coral reefs, and come in a range of hues and sizes. These fish are not only stunningly attractive, but they also have a fascinating history. Clownfish are a subfamily, with approximately 30 distinct species. While the most well-known type of clownfish has an orange body with white stripes, this subfamily contains a wide range of hues. Sea anemones are home to all clownfish. Clownfish in reality form a symbiotic connection with sea anemones to build their homes and nests. They develop this mutual friendship because they both profit from it. For example, the clownfish keeps the sea anemone parasite free and supplies food to the anemone. Because the clownfish offers these things to the anemone, the anemone of choice will allow the clownfish to use its space to protect itself from predators. While some species live longer in captivity due to special care, clownfish are not one of them. In fact, a clownfish is more likely to live longer in the wild than in captivity. A wild clownfish can survive for 6 to 10 years on average. On the other hand, captive clownfish typically live for 3 to 6 years. Clownfish are omnivores, which means they eat both plants and other types of fish. While they frequently eat algae and marine leftovers left behind by their anemone, they can sometimes be spotted consuming other small invertebrates. Many people believe that clownfish received their name solely because of their colors. However, this is not the case, it is primarily due to their personalities and actions. When in defense mode, they will start swimming around wildly, which frequently looks rather foolish. This eccentric conduct is what gave them their unusual name. Did you discover anything new today? Can you think of any other interesting clown fish fact we should include? Leave them in the comments section below, we enjoy hearing from you.